This is just a little bit more about the importance of using Latin and possibly Greek in the naming of organisms. I've uh, got here at the top the name of one particular species of crawfish, Procamberus clarkii. This means literally Clark's crawfish, and it's the first crawfish named from North America. Its general common name is the Louisiana swamp crawfish. Uh, this is the crawfish that's shipped by millions all across the country out of Louisiana that people eat. If you've had crawfish in a restaurant, this is probably what you've had. Now, there's a, there's a couple of problems, and, and again, this emphasizes the importance of scientific naming and scientific naming in, in Latin. Uh, this is just one species of crawfish of over 200 species that are in North and Central America. There are many more species worldwide. But we know exactly which one we're talking about with this name, and it doesn't matter whether we're here or we're in Japan or China or some country in Africa. There, anybody dealing with this species is dealing with Procamberus clarkii. Now, common names can sometimes work because most people, at least in this country, that work with crawfish know what the Louisiana swamp crawfish is. It's this thing. But we have a lot of common names in which an awful lot of crayfish and crawfish species are lumped. And these include crawfish, crayfish, and crawdad, very common in usage in North America, flusskrebe, for the same kind of organism in Germany, Ecrevis for the same kind of organism in France, Mudbug, kind of a neat little name for them down in Louisiana, and Yabby, which is the name for them in Australia. And so in order to communicate and know exactly what organism we're dealing with, no matter what country, no matter what kind of work we're doing, we need the scientific name. Let's quit there.